the hell? Looking a little bit like the Eternals. Just a little bit. Not a lot, not, not, not complete, but like a little. Gold glow around the hands. Alrededor de las manos. But who are these people? Man? Are these like the descendants or ancestors, I mean, of Echo? What the fuck? Okay, yeah, it is. No, it is, yeah. There she is. There's Echo. No, we're cousins. So she was born uh, without being able to, to hear. That was her mom and dad. Yeah. Yeah, so my papa. In the tent. Oh, oh. Oh, wait up. Wait up. The brake's not working. Oh, fuck me. God damn. Ay, wait. A la madre. I told her those Lopez boys are no good. Thanks. Oh, she married a Latino. Lopez. New York. Isn't that far enough? No. And they're in Oklahoma right now, yeah, because I did read the description of the series. She misses you. I don't know what she's asking, and I, I, this, this is making me want to learn sign language, to be honest. Though I could understand. I go too! Aww. I wonder if she ever sees her cousin again. You have to learn to jump between two words. She's like, but how? How do I do that? by watching okay yeah that's right they kind of did show this scene in hawkeye now that i remember oh yeah there it is there it is that's how it happened así es como pasó así es como pasó así es como pierde su papá perdió la pierna ay wey pobrecita i just barely noticed that what the fuck how do i not notice that in the hawkeye series oh shit oh oh that's ronin that's fucking Hawkeye. That's Hawkeye. That's right. They're just connecting both shows this way. Oh, fuck. You're just seeing things from her point of view now. Bonnie is her cousin, right? Bonnie is su prima. Boom. They're like, yo, what the fuck? I need you to step back. Well, that's Wilson. <laughs> Déjalo pasar donde quiera ir el bar. Oh, about to lay down the law. Let me help you release this rage. How? Oh. Dice, ¿cómo? ¿Cómo me vas a ayudar? Mm, aquí es cuando la empieza a poner hacia esta vida. Take your pain. Make it into something useful. Damn. Reminds me of that uh, last fight between him and Daredevil at the end of season three. Woo! Such a good fight. We're here for the meeting. Smile to the camera. Oh, you better not feel up on her. Oh, God, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. The fuck, dude? Come on now. Go in there. Shoot people. You cool? She's like, all right. They had her do the gun, gun logo, so that she knew what, what they were talking about. Whoa! Whoa! Holy shit! Protegete, protegete, andale, Maya! Oh, she's gonna crack. Oh, yeah. Never mind. She just went straight for the kill. Tell her pastar seguro. Ay, wait! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! We know who that is! He knows that she's involved with Fisk, so... He's not gonna let things go just like that. I wonder if this is in the timeline right after... The events of Daredevil 3. Uh, Season 3. Oh! Okay. Now you ain't getting that. Now you ain't getting none of those weapons. That's interesting, she can't hear... But she could see, and he can't see, but he could hear really good. No problem with him like that. You did better than even I expected. And she just keeps on uh, improving, getting better, doing more jobs. Good. Becoming more of a killer. Uh, yeah, she's, she's basically molding her. 
dedicated all my resources into bringing your father's killer to justice. When you find him, he's mine. Which we know it's uh, Ronan. When you're filled with rage, it makes you blind. Oh, she knows how to read lips. Yeah, I do remember that. The boss. Sabe como leer los, los labios también. That's when she, that's when she ends up getting hatred against Wilson. You and I, your father, we're family. She's like, not no more. Not no more, ya no, ya no mas. Boom. Damn. Five months, damn. Took a while. Must have been in a coma for a while. King Ping don't stay dead. Cousin. She looks at him as if she doesn't really remember him much. <laughs> Definitely a smaller town. Fisk shipping. Oh my god, no wonder. This dude has even shipping up in Oklahoma. Won't bring a war here. Why are you doing this? Oh never mind. She wants to She wants to do something to that building, I think. And then yeah, this is Fisk. There we go. So he got shot through the eye, I'm guessing. Doesn't seem like if the bullet went through the top of the skull, and that's why he survived it. Welcome back, everybody. We are Bilingual Reactions. Somos Reacciones Bilingües. And today, we're going to be reacting to... At least yours truly will be reacting to Marvel's Echo, the TV series that just recently came out on Hulu and or Disney Plus, depending on what you prefer to use. But it's available on both. And if you're gonna be watching it on Disney Plus, don't forget to set your settings to mature, so that way you're able to watch it. You know, since it has also uh, kid content on it. Gotta keep your kids safe. Make sure that they can't see what you don't want them to see. But if it's only your account, just make sure to go in there and switch the setting real quick to mature. That way you're able to watch this. <clears throat> but I don't really think I need to introduce this show for those of you who are probably watching this reaction. Since you searched for it or came across it, you probably already know about the series or at least information about it. And just a quick little rundown. It's has to do with the adoptive adopted uh, daughter of Kingpin and we're gonna see essentially the continuation of what happened at the end of Hawkeye yeah because at the end of Hawkeye she ended up shooting him point-blank in the head and that's where they left it at a cliffhanger but if you know the comics and you know that, that that's part of uh, Wilson Fisk's journey at some point he does get shot in the comics and he uh, manages to survive that, which is where we're going to pick up from at some point in this series. I don't know if right away, but at some point in the series I know we will. We're going to see what happened, the, the repercussions from her doing that, and how Kingpin, Wilson Fisk, ends up uh, persecuting her, forgives her, or we'll see what, she, what he ends up doing. Y rapidito, en español. Pues es lo que vamos a hacer. Como ahorita dije en inglés para los que no hablan es, uh, inglés y solo hablan español y están viendo esta reacción. Lo que estaba diciendo es de que esta serie tiene que ver con la hija adoptiva de el Kingpin, Wilson, Wilson Fisk. En donde al fin de la serie de Hawkeye vimos como ella le terminó disparando directamente aquí en la cabeza y... Así lo dejaron, donde nos dejaron pensando qué iba a pasar con él, si se murió o si no. Pero si saben de las cómicas, de los cómics, entonces saben de que a él no le pasa nada muy grave. Yo creo que en los cómics pierde su vista de un ojo o algo así, pero sobrevive básicamente. Y es lo mismo que pasa en esta serie de Echo. Vamos a ver las consecuencias de ella, haber, de ella haber hecho eso y obviamente sobrevive el Kingpin por eso lo vemos, lo vemos en los trailers pero vamos a empezar a ver la serie a ver exactamente qué 
pasa entre ellos y también la origen e historia de el personaje del show Echo Alright guys, well, let's go That was just a quick little introduction for all my Spanish speakers out there since this is a bilingual reaction Si es reacciones bilingües, entonces tenemos que hablar los dos idiomas I'm a lot better at and comfortable at English but I'll keep getting better at Spanish, guys. I promise. I promise. I will. And I'm gonna quickly put on my glasses because I can't see shit without. It. Just want to do the intro without it, and then, but yeah, put these bad boys on. Ponerme estos lentes. Ya cuando empezamos. Guys, ready? Tan listos? For echo. All right. One, two. people. ¿Quiénes son estas personas? The hell? Looking a little bit like they're Eternals. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Not, not, not completely, but like a little. Gold glow around the hands. Alrededor de las manos. I have no idea what the hell they were doing. I'm lost here. They were doing some type of ritual? Un ritual? Parece? Un tipo de ritual. Lo único que puedo pensar que es. But who are these people? No? Are these like the descendants or ancestors, I mean, of Echo? What the fuck? Okay, yeah, it is. No, it is, yeah. Native Americans. There we go. Okay, so she has a Native American heritage. Oh, she was getting a story told to her. Yeah, about about her people. There she is. There's Echo. No, we're cousins. So she was born uh, without being able to to hear. That she probably had an accident. You pensé que tal vez tuvo un accidente o algo que la hizo así. Parece que no. That was her mom and dad. Yeah, yeah, so mamá y su papá. In the tent. I wonder if the child actor is also deaf or she just she's just acting. If she's just acting, then she's really good. But I don't think so. I think she probably is deaf, huh? Ancestors whispering in your ear again. Why don't you ask them for something good, like a uh, Powerball? <laughs> ask them to help you win the lottery, man. Si estás hablando con tus antecedentes, lo mejor. Oh oh, oh wait up, wait up, the brake's not working, oh fuck me, god damn, ay wait, a la madre, Jesus Christ dude, oh, oh no, wait, where's that, someone got stabbed, ay wait, pobrecita, oh fuck, it's in her leg, oh her mom got completely blasted, she took most of the impact. Tomó la mayoría del impacto, la mamá. Yo creo que así es como pierde a su mamá. Like, I know at some point she loses her mother and she becomes an orphan. It's just right here, yeah. And they really only gave us a couple of minutes with her mom and that's it. But I mean, I get it. They want to make it go quick, right? Just to get to the point. Because you already know her character. Ya sabemos su personaje, entonces, pues, tal vez quieren luego, luego llegar al punto. Oh, she. I didn't tell her yet. Ah, oh, fuck yeah. She did die on impact. I told her those Lopez boys are no good. Thugs. Oh, she married a Latino. Lopez. You Se casó con un Latino. Oh, El. El. I thought he was also, I thought he was also Native American. I will never forgive you for this. I mean, how was it his fault though? I know the break started having issues, but... How was it her, his fault? New York. Isn't that far enough? No. And they're in Oklahoma right now, yeah, because I did read the description of the series. She grew up in Oklahoma. Oh, she's really hurting. We all are. Oh, man. Está difícil. Está cañón aquí. 
Está bien, cañón. No lo deberían que haber sentido así tan mal, porque pues no sé cómo tuvo culpa. Chumbani. Oh, that's sweet. She misses you. I don't know what she's asking, and I, this this making me want to learn sign language, to be honest. That way I could understand. I forgot to put subtitles on, like an idiot. <laughs> como, un, como un idiota, no le puse uh, subtítulos. Just looking at him like, don't ever come back. Don't ever show your face, okay? I don't want to see you again. <laughs> Asshole. Aww. I wonder if she ever sees her cousin again. Ojalá que sí llegue a ver su a su prima otra vez. Y ahora llega a Nueva York. Now she comes to New York. Now we know she lost her mother to that awful car accident. That her father was blamed by the mother-in-law. And he had to leave with Maya to New York, but guessing he she loses her father too in New York. Maybe they are, but dragons live in a different world. Huh? She's asking about dragons. There was a dragon in Shang Chi, in that other realm. You have to learn to jump between two. You're like, but how? How do I do that? By watching. Okay, yeah, that's right. They kind of did show this scene in Hawkeye. Now that I remember. They showed her. They showed her in uh, in this exact setting, the karate. Okay. Sorry here to think her dad was probably already involved in. Sh oh yeah, there it is. There it is. That's how it happened. Así es como pasó. Así es como pasó, así es como pierde a su papá. Y como termina con el Wilson Fisk. The King Pit. Maya. Oh, there it is, told you. There he is, yeah, this is that scene from Hawkeye. Yeah, this is la escena de Hawkeye, esta es. Esta es la que recuerdo. Oh, y también no tiene una pierna. Perdió la pierna. Ay, wey, pobrecita. I just barely noticed that, what the fuck? How do I not notice that in the Hawkeye series? Shit, I was not paying attention. <laughs> He's like, I don't even need a leg. I don't even need a leg to drop your ass. I see fácil. Fácil, fácil. Fácil. Fácil, baby, fácil. Got my puppy over here looking at me. No, hey, hey, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, he's a ninja. Dead. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, that's Ronin. That's fucking Hawkeye. That's Hawkeye, that's right. They're just connecting both shows this way. Oh, fuck. Damn, you know, it's been a while since I watched the Hawkeye. I just watched it once and that's it. That's when he became Ronin. This happened during the blip. He ends up killing her father. That's right. Fuck. Forgot about that, guys. Forgot about that completely. I like the connections, though. They did a good job. You're just seeing things from her point of view now. Bonnie is her cousin, right? Bonnie is su prima. I like, I like the pace of it. That's a good pace. Not going too slow, not going too quick either. Oh shit, she was trying to steal a, a bike it seems. FBI, open up! Boom. They're like, yo, what the fuck? She's fucking crazy. <laughs> Just threw a bike at our ass. Si esta un poquito loca. Oh, and this is what Wilson uh, ends up showing up. I need to step back. Yeah. You know who that is? Well, that's Wilson. Keep him. Let him buy. Déjalo pasar. Déjalo pasar donde quiera ir el bar. 
Uh oh, about to lay down the law. You're not alone. I understand your age. She's like, really? Yeah, he does. He actually does. If you guys saw Daredevil, you know he does. What a great character this guy is, seriously. Great actor. Vincent. Vincent D'Onofrio. Let me help you release this rage. How? He said, "Como, como me vas a ayudar?" Mm, aquí es cuando la empieza a poner hacia esta vida, yeah, hacer lo mismo, tomar la posición de su papá, básicamente. Take, Take your pain. Make it into something useful. Damn. It reminds me of that uh, last fight between him and Daredevil at the end of season three. Woo! Such a good fight. I'm glad that they made him canon now, officially. Now they're part of the MCU canon. Daredevil was obviously the highlight of them, but... Luke Cage season 1 was still pretty good. Even Jessica Jones season 1, I liked it too. Iron Fist... Probably was the lowest for sure out of all of them. And then Punisher was fucking great the first season. <laughs> She's like, can you get out the way? Or take me, never mind. Take me where I need to go. We're here for the meeting. Smile to the camera. You're clear. Hands up. Going to a damn speakeasy or what? <laughs> it's like a hidden part of of that club. Oh, you better not fill up on her. Oh god, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. The fuck, dude? Come on now. Por qué pensó que iba a ser una buena idea eso? Deja tus manos a ti mismo. No toques a nadie, wey. Like shit. Don't be touching people, man. Keep your hands to yourself. Oh, you get them chop, chop. Go in there. Shoot people. You cool? She's like, alright. They had her do the gun, gun logo. So she knew what, what they were talking about. Whoa. Whoa, holy shit. They just came in right away. So it's just them three versus everybody else in there? Yep. Seems to be the case. She's just there like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? ¿Qué hago? ¿Qué es lo que quiere que haga? No tengo pistol. I mean, without a gun, it's kind of hard. Protégete, protégete, ándale, Maya. No te dejes, dale un putazo. Give him a good left hook, right hook, uppercut, jab, jab. Liver shot, boom. Come on, Maya. Oh, she's gonna crack, oh yeah, never mind. She just went straight for the kill. But you know what? I don't feel like fighting. Just. <laughs> Boom. She's like, fighting I could do. I don't shoot guns. So that's just basically what she's showing us right here. Oh, it's that one guy, the dude that they let, that they let, that was trying to touch her. <laughs> it's like, oh, he made a comeback. He tried to get his... Whoa. Just to be sure. Solo para estar seguro. Ay, wey. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We know who that is. That's Daredevil. Hell yeah, baby. Let's go. Vamonos. Vamonos. Come on, Matt Burdock. Show my how it's done. Show her how it's done. And then you guys show up. Woo, wey. And screwed everything up. It's like, I was about to get him! It's like, I was on it! You guys fucked it up. He knows that she's involved with Fisk, so... He's not gonna let things go just like that. I wonder if this is in the timeline right after... The events of Daredevil 3. Uh, Season 3. Because we know how that ended. That ended with him telling Fisk to stay away. So then I'm guessing he doesn't listen, and then these the events here happen. Oh, okay. Now you ain't getting that. 
Are they ever getting none of those weapons? All of a sudden she wants to use weapons, right? <laughs> now that she sees that she's getting bested in combat, she's like, let me use the weapon real quick, this guy's tough. But it is Daredevil, so what can you expect, man? Come on. Woo! How are you getting out now, Maya? Oh, fuck, shotgun. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's interesting. She can't hear, but she can see, and he can't see, but None he can hear I really good. No problem with him like that. You did better than even I expected. Mmm, that was like a quick little did you find the show done. And then he decided to leave her. To you. Immensely. We're family. Thank you, Uncle. Mmm, she calls him Uncle. So le llama Tío. Lo considera como un tío. And she just keeps on uh, improving, getting better, doing more jobs. Good. Becoming more of a killer. Uh, yeah, she's, she's, he's basically molding her. And I've dedicated all my resources into bringing your father's killer to justice. When you find him, he's mine. Which we know it's uh, Ronan. I wouldn't have it any other Or a Hawkeye. There he is, yeah. And that, that's when we saw that fight in Hawkeye. She's like, why are you showing me my your face? When you're filled with rage, it makes you blind. Oh, she knows how to read lips. Yeah, I do remember that. Boss. Sabe como leer los los labios también. That's when she that's when she ends up getting hatred against Wilson, and then she decides to shoot him. Yeah, they're leading up to that shot, the way Hawkeye ended. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, aquí está el momento en que pasó al fin de la serie de Hawkeye. So never mind, that fight with Daredevil must have happened sometime in like season 2. Probably season 2, tal vez temporada 2 de Daredevil pasó esa pelea entre Maya y, y Matt. What a surprise. She's like, oh yeah, you're gonna get a surprise, that's for sure. You and I, your father, we're family. She's like, not no more. Not no more, ya no, ya no mas. Boom. Damn. Then we, we assume that he dies from that, but five months, damn. Took a while. Must have been in a coma for a while. King Ping don't stay dead. I mean, maybe in some universes, right? But in most of them, I think that dude just finds a way to keep coming back. Or in the case of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, will make him an even bigger villain. Since he, in that one, he managed to literally tear a hole into another reality. <laughs> Freaking crazy. Ooh. Ay, wey. Eso no se ve bien. Eso no se ve bien para nada, no. Está infectado. Tienes que usar alcohol. Desinfectarla y... Oh, listen. Jesus, all that blood just just going down the down the side of the bike. Pretty gnarly. I mean, so far not bad. Okay, and then she goes back to Oklahoma. Welcome to Oklahoma, Native America. That's what she decided to do. Okay, so this is what brings her back here. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh, fuck. Just fucking falling asleep. Not good while riding a damn bike. I wonder if her grandma, right? So abuela, I know so abuela. I wonder if her grandma, if that is her grandma, I think it is. I wonder if she will let her come back home. Oh, she just tell her get the fuck out of here. We don't want you here. I told you to stay away. Nah. Nah, I don't think so. She'll probably, yeah, it's been long enough. She'll probably forgive her. What the f- Really? Are you serious? There's there still key? Oh, there's still people living there, okay. That was probably abandoned by now. See, like they still hide the key in the same damn area. Oh. Damn. It's a big fucking gash. Deep wound. Bien profundo. 
I wonder how realistic that is, though. Can 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 you actually sew yourself shut without like passing out? Oh damn! Having memories of that uh, story she would be told, or that her and her cousin were uh, telling each other in the tent. Yeah, he was a Native American. Yeah, her 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 papa was was Latino. That's so why he was a lopus. FBI, open up! No, it's not the FBI now, guys. I think it's the grandma. Oh, fuck me. Never mind. Forgot the key? Oh, if my grandma finds out so much squatting here, there's gonna be hell to pay. Yeah, that is, that is the grandma. It's me, Biscuits! <laughs> Who's he? Was he in the beginning? Estaba in el principio? No me acuerdo. You look the same. He looks a lot different if he, if he is the same guy. 20 years. Damn. Hey. Aww. This is Hello, puppy. puppy. She's our cousin. Hello, puppy. Billy yeah, Jack. <laughs> That's a cool name. New York. Huge. Oklahoma from New York is quite far, yeah. Good to see you, cousin. She looks at him as if she doesn't really remember him much. <laughs> Where's his back? My. Definitely a smaller town. Jesus Christ, big ass difference. Look at that. Compared to where she was, the big city, compared to this. Tamaha? Tamaha. I think it's a Tamaha, Oklahoma. Down low. That's where she grew up. It's una nativa de Oklahoma. That's her cousin! That was her cousin. There's her cousin. There we go. I was wondering we'll be able to see the cousin. Like what ended up happening to her? So she became a firefighter. Nice. Do not carry children while it skates. I just barely noticed that sign. <laughs> yeah, that's not smart. That'd be really dumb. Well, if you ain't here to skate, he ain't available. Oh, that's him. That, that's what she was looking for. Oh, how, how, how convenient. <laughs> he just happened to show up. Green light, go! That was like a game. That's cool. Cool way to keep the kids busy. Twisted that foot. Green light, go! <laughs> she just never puts it back. <laughs> They're just gonna be waiting and waiting for the red light. Like, where's the damn red light? Uh oh. I might have in from the king killer. Kingpin, the bunny's still on the table. Jesus. Holy fuck. His reach goes far. The fact that he has people looking for her even out in Oklahoma. Well, I guess never mind. It makes sense. Never mind. It does make sense. That's the first place he would probably have informants looking for her, knowing that she would probably go back. But he's worked for me. Bullet or blade. He knows. Yeah, he knows that she's her. <laughs> she's like, lift up your shirt. Come on now. Need to see. Oh, God. She got infected. I think got infected. Se infectó y enfeo. Que no le puso nada, no le puso nada de alcohol. Simplemente solo se empezó a... A coser. She began sewing herself. Shut. If she finds out you were here, it will break her heart. Yeah. They were really close together. But she doesn't want to risk anything happening to her. I wouldn't want to put my family members in jeopardy either. If I were my... She's like, ojo, ojo. Mira esto, ojo. Fisk shipping. Oh my god, no wonder. This dude has even shipping up in Oklahoma. What the fuck? I figured you needed more from me than stitches. Won't bring a war here. Why are you doing this? Oh, never mind. She wants to. She wants to do something to that building. I think. 
Yeah, she's, at this point, she still doesn't know that he's still alive. Never saw you. We didn't have this conversation. I mean, I don't blame him. No lo culpo. Si ayudarla va a traer problemas a esa, esa ciudad, ese pueblito, entonces no vale la pena. Yeah, if helping her is going to just bring more problems, or bring problems to that area that she grew up in, then I don't, I don't blame him for not wanting to help her. I think eventually he's going to give in, but just upright, say, hell yeah, I'll help you out. Nah. And then, yeah, this is first. There we go. We got the kingpin right here. So he got shot through the eye, I'm guessing. Doesn't seem like if the bullet went through the top of the skull, and that's why he survived it. Ah, interesting. That would make more sense. Showing you a preview of the second episode. Lo que viene el segundo episodio. Wow. Oh no, showing you that, just reminding you that all episodes are already available. You want an empire. You want a war. So she declares war on him. Yeah. That's what they're hinting at here, basically. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. We just got done with episode one of Echo. Marvel's Echo. And oh be giving it a rating every episode. Then at the end of the season, once we finish all episodes all five. Then at the end of the season I'll make sure to give it an overall rating that I personally uh would give it. <clears throat> y para este episodio for this episode, yo le daría un siete. Solid seven. Solid seven. I was going to give it a 7.5 because of that Daredevil fight, but not like overall, let's say it's 7. Como un 7. Y eso no es malo. A veces la gente escucha 7. Ah, entonces, ¿qué le faltó? No, 7 es de que está bien, solo que le faltó unas cositas, en mi opinión. But let's talk about the things that are actually good. So let's talk about the things that, in my opinion, were good. The quick introduction of how she lost her mother. It's fine. Worked pretty well. They didn't linger too much on it, you know. Just showed you enough so you can know she lost her mother to uh, faulty brakes, which we still don't know if it was caused on purpose or if it just happened to happen. You know, freak accident. And we also know that her father was actually already involved in some shady business with Fisk, I think. I believe, like, he probably brought that with him. Because the grandmother made that statement saying, like, you can't trust the Lopez. No puedes confiar en Lopez. Referencing him, right? And then we get that confirmation later on in the episode when he actually ends up... Uh, when he actually ends up taking Maya to New York. And then we see that he does have a connection with shady business dealings. And specifically with Wilson Fisk in that dojo. Mm -hmm. When she's practicing uh, karate. En donde estaba practicando karate o artes marciales, lo que fuera. Ahí es donde tenemos la confirmación del que papá ahí está trabajando con Wilson Fist. Pero para los que han visto Hawkeye, ya sabían eso, ¿verdad? ¿eh? Ustedes ya sabían, ya sabíamos, porque lo, esa escena la enseñaron de otro punto de vista en esa serie. So, because they showed it in Hawkeye, for those of us who watched Hawkeye, we already knew, right? But they had to show it again for those who probably. They gotta anticipate some people are probably not ever gonna watch the other Marvel series and maybe just this one. So they had to show it again for those who for those who didn't watch that. But that scene overall was handled pretty well, you know, for those people who haven't watched it. I like that. So two good scenes right there. Then the Daredevil fight could have been a little better. Podría estar haber estado un poquito mejor la pelea de contra Daredevil. Solo un poquito. And the reason why I'm saying that is because it's hard not to compare it to the fights from the um, Netflix uh, version of Daredevil before it got passed on to Disney. Those first three seasons, jeez, every single fight, todas las peleas, obviamente unas eran mejor que otras, pero todas las peleas estaban bien, bien perronas, bien chidas para ver. They're really fucking dope. 
like every fucking fight scene was unique and it just left you wanting more you were like whoo damn you're like this dude like especially that one scene uh where was it that one like hallway scene i forgot what episode what season i think it was season two maybe it was that one hallway scene in which he's just like going one after another after another after another after another in like a very narrow space and then he ends up leaving that fight like fucking like exhausted like just it looks like he like barely barely hanged on by like a single thread <laughs> that level of fight it's hard to not compare it when you see this one and it's obviously night and day difference it wasn't bad this fight but if you've seen those uh, Daredevil seasons from Netflix, then you know what I'm talking about. Like it just doesn't it doesn't compare. It's like the Daredevil uh, season one to three fights were like a ten, eight out of ten, right? Eight through ten, some eight, some nine, some ten out of ten uh, fights, fight scenes. And in this one, this was like, again like a six point five seven at most in terms of the fight scene, and that was in. Uh, they're Matt Murdock's fault because it seemed like they just wanted to introduce him uh, in that point of her timeline to show you that I don't know exactly when it happened but to show you that it happened sometime in between that Daredevil um, season through three I think it was probably season two that it probably happened it's hard to put everything in the timeline now because it's like shit so many shows and then the way that they just finally accepted them in men's you canon so it's hard to know but I would say maybe maybe season two. I think it happened probably around season two based on how he was dressed. So I should say it was season two. And they just wanted you to show to show us how she was always in that world. They're kind of retconning, right? They're they're showing us look, she was always in that world of the Daredevil season one to three. She was always there, she was always around, you know. She was helping Kingpin on the side, and and it's it's believable because I mean, they didn't they didn't have to show her right in those season one through three, but if they would have given some type of indication, that would have been better. But then again, you know, they didn't know they were gonna end up making the show in the future, so it makes sense. It's just right cons that are necessary. But all in all, showing her uh, heritage is another thing I do did enjoy. Showing that she's Native American, and um, it seems like it's gonna play a pretty vital role in the war that's coming up in that town, the one that they alluded to at the end of this first episode. And I'm willing to bet that, it, that she's gonna get some type of power or something, because they kind of hinted at it in the beginning, in the very beginning when her ancestors, I think that's what they were, right? It seems like that's what they were. They were getting something from like a chalice of water. We we're getting like a like some water, and it looked like very very colorful. It looked like a type of ritual that they were doing. And I'm guessing maybe that's gonna play into how the war is resolved. Just guessing. <laughs> I haven't seen the other episodes yet, right? We still got four more to go, but that's what I think. Lo que yo pienso. Pienso que su ancestría de ser una Nativa Americana le va a ayudar a ganar esa guerra. Es lo que yo estoy ahorita asumiendo. Pero vamos a tener que seguir viendo los siguientes episodios: 2, 3, 4 y 5, para ver si sí es cierto o no. Pero sí, como estaba diciendo ahorita en inglés, yo le daría a esta serie un 7. Bueno, no, este episodio: <ríe> un 7 de 10. A ver si los otros suben un poquito más o se mantienen ahí, con que se mantengan ahí yo, yo estaré feliz con la serie en general so as long as it stays at a 7 the next episodes right, solid 7 through through and through all the way to the end, I'll be fine with it it's fine, it's not at the level of Moon Knight for example, Moon Knight that one had me hooked, holy shit Moon Knight I, I just kept on wanting to watch, I know I'm hooked because I don't want to stop watching it, like I just want to binge it pretty sure that's the case for a lot of us but yeah I would say I would say Moon Knight's definitely it's, well, yeah I can't say way better because I haven't seen the other episodes but it is better 100% Moon Knight's like an 8.5 for me solid 8.5 out of 10 but yeah this one 7 so far for season 1 7 
Ahorita 7 de 10 estrellas. 7 de 10 estrellitas para, la, para el primer episodio. Y ya veremos para el segundo. Aldo as usual. Como es usualmente. If you guys enjoyed this reaction for Marvel's Echo, episode 1, make sure to hit the like button to begin with, just to show the video some love, that extra love. And if you're new to our channel, feel free to subscribe. You'll probably only be seeing me for a while right now, because my mom, she's got in a bit busy with work so she hasn't been able to come on by and record with me which is why you see my new setting now but hope you guys enjoyed this new setting you know with the laptop here on the side try to make it look as good as I possibly can and we'll keep on uploading episodes like this at least until my mom gets more free time in the future which she will but it'll take time you know with the way the economy is it's kind of hard so once everything's more balance back how they should be then she'll be able to join us for other series especially Supernatural that'll always be the series that I'll react with her there's still some more episodes I gotta upload we have like three and three just holding on to it so that way we could uh, record a few more and I'll be uploading those uh, maybe at the end of season five of this one so if you guys want to see more of our Supernatural reactions don't forget to have notifications enabled. That way you can be notified when those resume as well. Y como lo dita dije en inglés, los que le gustaron esta reacción para Marvel's Echo, episodio número uno, acuérdense de darle un like al video para enseñarle un poquito más de amor. Y si son nuevos al canal, suscríbanse y activen notificaciones para que así sean notificados de cuando Subi, subiré otro episodio de esta serie que serán los últimos cuatro que faltan y después veremos cuando subimos los otros de Supernatural que tengo con mi mamá que ya grabamos y cuando podamos grabemos más para que sí podremos seguir subiendo esos, esas reacciones también que a ustedes también les gusta pero until then hope you guys have a great rest of your day Afternoon, evening, night, midnight, late night, whatever time it may be that you're watching this reaction. Enjoy the rest of it, and oh, catch you in the next episode of Marvel's Echo. Episode number two. Y los veré en el otro episodio de Marvel's Echo, episodio número dos. Muchas gracias por ver esta reacción. We were. Bye, Lingo Reactions.